Something I've noticed about the atheist community here on YouTube that sort of bugs me is when we talk to creationists, we often respond to what they are literally saying as opposed to what they mean. For example, when they say that macroevolution doesn't happen, we point to observed instances of speciation. Not all of us, but I've seen it done uh, fairly often. And yes, that is the definition of macroevolution, speciation. But when creationists say macroevolution, they don't mean speciation. They mean a lizard turning into a bird, that kind of thing. And I've often seen, well not often, but often enough seen atheists just sort of leave it at speciation and say, oh, you're wrong. And uh, I tried to not do that, I tried to do exactly not that in my Creationisms is Evolution or Religion video. And then something I've seen on the atheist experience a lot is they'll ask, you know, if someone has proof of God, they say, okay, first define God. And this isn't so much um, a big deal, because yes, there are different versions of God. Some people just say God is energy, sort of very hippie theism. Um, other people, and most people, however, mean that God is the omniscient, omnipotent Bible God. And this is a more understandable uh, question clarification, but to a reasonable degree, you, you can be pretty sure that, they, that that's what God is when they say, oh, I can prove God, or they say, do you believe in God? It, it's, it's almost like a loaded question to an extent. It's like, you know, putting them on the defensive initially. I, I just don't like it. I mean, yes, you can ask it. It makes sense if you think that their God is energy or something, but usually it's just, you know, omni-omni-God. That's basically what it is. Another thing in that whole ballpark, sort of, you know, could ask it, but not really, I don't like it, is morality. Now, theists and Christians, whoever, will say, you know, without God, you can't have morality. And we respond by saying, sure, you can point to society and societal mechanisms, evolutionary history, etc. And that is a, quote, a code of morality, which is why I'm not quite sure I'd like to bring this up as a complaint along my complaints list in this video. But when they say you can't have morality, uh, they mean, you know, an objective, cosmic, everyone should do this morality. And the correct answer to that is, of course not. You can't have that if you don't have a cosmic mind to, you know, command us and sort of force us to do that. Um, but atheists will often say, oh no, you can't have that morality. And they sort of miss the mark of, okay, they're talking about this morality, you're talking about this morality. It's just, woo, you, you know, you, there's no communication there and it sort of breaks down. And finally, on my list of things to complain about for that whole thing of what they mean versus what they say is the whole idea of the presuppositional apologetics that I'm working on for a video is the idea that atheism can't account for this or that. And yes, it's true that atheism is not a comprehensive worldview. It's not supposed to account for everything. It's just as, as part of my worldview, I don't think there is a god. But and, and people get caught up in that. I think the thing is that what the creationists are saying is, okay, there's either a universe with a god or without a god. Without a god, you cannot account for blah, blah, blah. And, you know, atheists tend to sort of miss what they're meaning when they say, you know, atheism can't account for this. They mean without God, you can't account for X, Y, and Z. And, you know, it's just something I don't like to see people get caught up in because it's a waste of time. It's If you stop and think about it for a sec, it's obvious what they mean. And I think a lot of atheists here on YouTube who make video responses to other, you know, creationists don't really sit down and think about this to the extent that they should in order to understand what the creationist actually means. And that's really what I try to do with my channel. I try to sit down and think about what they mean. I do my best thinking in the shower. I'll often just, you know, think of something awesome, try to remember it, but I really am putting the time into thinking about this stuff, trying to get what they mean as opposed to, oh, they said this, I'm going to respond to that. It's like, is that what they mean? I, I really do want to understand what they mean, and I think you get a lot more meaningful conversation when you take the time to consider it. Thank you for watching this video.